sleep hygiene is something that, from my point of view, is a, is a part of how you might approach managing insomnia. And think about sleep hygiene as being sort of a set of recommendations for a person that uh, to engage in behaviors that are going to be more conducive to getting a good night's sleep. Yeah. Um, you know, if, having raised kids, you know that kids need a regular bedtime and a regular wake time. They, and sleep is not totally natural to them. They learn to some degree yeah. how to go to bed. They have a ritual. As adults, we tend to undo that. You might exercise right before bed or, you know, watching the evening news, it's unlikely to help you fall asleep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, people will, uh, will have large meals or, or drink coffee late in the day, smoke cigarettes. All those kinds of things can interfere with sleep quality. Many people will use alcohol to try and help them get to sleep, yeah. and, and it will help you get to sleep, uh, but it will interfere with the quality of your sleep. And when that alcohol washes out of your system, then you get this rebound hyperactivity. So you may wake up or at least get kicked up into a, a lighter, less refreshing quality of yeah. sleep. Uh, so when I'm working with somebody with insomnia, I'm really trying to go through a typical day, go through a typical set of their behaviors and try and find out what kinds of things do they do uh, that interfere with sleep and what kinds of things do they do that help sleep.